going to be doing a boohoo haul. The little bear wants to be in the video. So this is what we have. We spent $600 on boohoo. No, this is not sponsored. Well, kind of. It was sponsored by one of my son. Can I help you, sir? Get your butt out of the way. It was sponsored by one of my subscribers. You know who you are, shout out for that, thank you. So we are going to check out the quality of Boohoo. They just had a huge sale, so luckily we got all of this on sale, but we are going to review how it is for what the price points kind of are at. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm super excited about this because I just did a whole video with Yoins and I had a bunch of dresses that were very similar to this, but I love the pattern of this and the satin. I love anything satin. If you know me, you know that. Um, it is quite big. I'm not sure how I managed to get a size 10 when I normally wear a size four, but we are going to see how this works. It might be good though because I'm bustier. So something like this, when it has the cowl neck that goes down, um, it doesn't sit right on me. So this might actually work better. We are going to check it out, try it out and see what happens. It is very soft and satiny though. And I do love that. It's a very good quality for a dress like this. For sure. Boom, we just got started. Okay. So this one here is a little set and I love it. It has a tie on the front. It's a little summery set and it comes with a lovely little maxi skirt. Um, this maxi skirt is actually really see-through for the fact that this outfit was $73 and it was on sale for 29, but I just don't feel like this is $73 quality because it is quite see-through and sheer. Um, it's kind of light, like thin, I, I don't know. We'll see how this works on, but that's just my first opinion of this, but it is a cute summary piece and it would be cute for like streetwear, something like that. So here we have got a cute little set again, but this one is short. Uh, it's light pink. I honestly am not sure how I feel about this either. I'm not gonna lie, at first impressions, I'm a little bit disappointed in the pieces that I've gotten because like these are see-through, like see-through, see-through. This is a very thin material. Yeah, the back of these are also see-through. So like if you're wearing anything that aren't nude underwear, you're kind of screwed. So it's a cute little set though, but that's yeah, a bit of a bummer. All right, let's check this one out. So here you have a bandeau, but again, this feels really thin and see-through. So be warned if you're getting stuff from here that you might need to plan to have stuff to wear underneath it, just because I was not prepared for this and it's a little bit different than I expected. And the bottoms that go with it are also very thin. They are stretchy, so they look really comfortable and to have a little outfit, it looks pretty cute. But yeah, just be careful, fairly see-through. I don't even know what to do with these ones. Huh, I'm not gonna lie, for the first time shopping at Boohoo, so far, I'm not overly impressed and I do a lot of online shopping a lot so I did decide to try a couple swimsuits these are both one pieces um, it's a set that comes with two again I don't love the quality I'm not really sure like I've, I've tried on a lot of bathing suits um, they're cute though they are like the little like one piece as the low back it's just a basic little piece you can throw it with shorts pants whatever you want which is kind of why I wanted to try it out but it's not so much what I had expected they're cute though I will wear these I will definitely wear these on trips at least you can't see through as far as I know so far okay this one I'm a little bit nervous about. So this is the biggest piece that I have ordered in this package. Um, it is a jumpsuit though, and I had to have it. I was obsessed. It's so freaking cute, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna fit. It looks fairly big. Um, it's not the worst. Still a very thin fabric, but I think that I would like that with something like this because it's meant to be just like a cute little like thin piece. I do wish there had been a way to tie it differently around the back because that's a little bit of a bummer when it doesn't really fit like that. And it makes it a little bit more difficult to style and try on. Okay, so we will see if these are any better. I was very excited to get some of these outfits. I wanted to have some more like fashionable, professional sort of outfits. So I got these. Um, my idea of fashionable, fashionable, professional is not going to be the same as most people's. These are, ooh, extremely high-waisted little white trousers. Uh, those are actually very cute. Um, we will find out if they're see-through when I try them on, but they look fairly sheer, so I'm kind of concerned, but I don't know. I might just need to put on nude underwear with everything I bought from Boohoo. So if you're buying from Boohoo, be warned that that could be a problem. I love high-waisted stuff though. I think that it makes, it's like a definite style. And to go with that, I got this little bralette. 
Now this is not the, oh boy. This is definitely see-through. So nipple pasties it is, I guess. Anyways, while I've got this on, I'm going to put it with another little set that I got. So this is, again, I'm not sure how I feel about Boohoo. We're gonna just assume that everything is see-through unless I say it is not. So this is a very thin set. Um, I thought it was super cute though because it has the little stripes going down and then the, the top for it is a blazer. And so I threw this on with my little bralette because I think that that's just like a trendy little style and I dig it and it still has the stripes though, like a full stripe suit. I think that they are so sexy and like, I'm just like super into it. I don't even think that it has to be like a professional thing. I think that you can wear those as just like an everyday, like check it out kind of thing. I dig that, I dig that a lot. So here we have another little outfit that I've done. The top is a basic little top. I'm concerned because it's white, but I guess I will just wear a black, a nude bra under it. Um, but this is just a simple white little crop top just to go with some of the pants because I think they're cute with just something simple. So here I have some pink pants. I love colorful pants and these are really nice. These actually look like a way better material than any of the others. I'm not gonna lie, some of those other ones were super questionable, but these ones look like a legitimate material. They still look high waisted, but just like kind of a professional pant, you could put them with anything. You could put them with something that makes it more professional or you could just wear them as something more casual. So I do like that a lot. Now, while I have this top out, we are also going to try on this, which is another pair of pants, kind of similar. Uh, I was really excited for these ones too because of the style of them and they're not bad. I quite like them. This, These ones also are a very sim- oh, what the heck did they do? They have them on backwards. What the? Oh boy. So we might have an issue with these pants. How it looks is like, this should be the front, right? Because the tag is in the back here. That should be the front. Um, but the belt is on the back and there's a belt loop right in the middle of where what looks like it should be the front. So this will be interesting to try on. Man, oh man. Let me look again. Like, I don't think this is a thing. Yeah, the belt is supposed to be above that and there's a tag on the front. So we're going to see how this works and they might just be getting returned as well. So this is great. Um, next, I don't even know if I really want to try anything else on. I'm kind of over this. This is just a basic little top. You can't go wrong with a basic black top. If you can screw that up, then I don't think you should be in business. Um, so it's just like a basic little like black crop. And I have these pants and looking at them in here, I was also really disappointed with these because I thought that they would be different than this. I thought that they were going to be satiny and they're actually a very cheap material. And so for palazzo pants, you just can't have a cheap material like this. Like I just don't think that it's reasonable to, and they look cheap. Like if you look at the back, I don't know, maybe they'll look cuter on, but they're still fairly see-through. I don't know, man, I don't know. Overall, I'm fairly disappointed. I haven't tried, I don't know. I haven't tried everything on yet, but I'm fairly disappointed. I don't think I would order from Boohoo again. So here we have another little set. Again, it is very see-through. Um, actually, this one might not be bad because they've got layers to the top, so that's good. Uh, it's really cute because it's got the stripes and it is a little strapless set, which I kind of love. Um, here we have a skirt. Oh, it like wraps around, so okay, yeah. Okay, so you actually have to wrap it around. So that's actually very cute too. Um, I would probably use it more as a bathing suit cover up just in case it does show through. And yeah, I do think it's cute though. It is a light material and I do like that. I think it would be really great for a trip, honestly. This is really cute. I was, so here's the thing. I opened one pair of sweats, but I opened these sweats and I was obsessed with them. They are so cute and so comfy. So I was super excited for the rest of this stuff. And I'm a little bit bummed that a lot of it is not what I expected. So here I've got another little um, tracksuit set. This one is pink and I do think it looks really cute. Uh, I actually quite like this one. I think the material is nice. The style and the color are good and I do kind of dig this one. The little crop top is pretty cute too because I wasn't really, I don't know, I don't really own anything like it. So I was excited to get this one for sure. I just love comfy sweatpants and so I wanted to get a couple pairs that were cute and comfy that I could use for like a style like and these are definitely them. They are super soft and they do have pockets too which is nice. Um, so these are actually quite nice and they don't look like they would be too see-through. So I mean if you're just wearing them around the house then it doesn't even matter anyways but yeah. I do like these sweatpants a lot. Boohoo did do their sweatpants right. I will say that much. Here I've got another pair of pants. These are called their 
Waffle Slouch Lounge Joggers. So these ones are soft and they are quite a bit more see-through than the last ones, but I don't think they would actually show anything anyways. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the style looking at them now. I think that if I'd seen them in person better, I might have changed my mind about these ones. They looked like this on their site. Okay, they do look fairly similar. They looked a little bit lighter though in person. They have quite a bit of gray to them. So I wasn't quite prepared for that, but they're still pretty cute and I still love joggers. I love wearing them around the house. So I'm not too upset about that. Next I have this which is a dress. I did want to try a couple at least to get an opinion of how I thought they fit and stuff. This is a bridesmaid dress apparently. This came out at $22, so it wasn't that bad, but I would not wear this anymore, I don't think. I'm, I've am i got some nicer quality dresses than this. It wouldn't be something I would put bridesmaids in. I'm kind of shocked that they call it a bridesmaid dress, but I mean, I guess it, some people might like it. I don't know. At least it's not see-through. So there is that with this one. This kind of confused me because it looked like a set and I found it in the section with all the sets and the fact that it's just a top I am not impressed with. It did say it didn't say that it was a set but it just was put with everything that made me assume it was and wow this looks gigantic. This says it's a size 6 but it looks huge. So I actually used their sizing to try and figure out what I wanted for everything that I got. Um, so that's interesting because I did not get things in the size that I expected. So I think that there will be a couple returns in my future. I will say that much. So I'm just going to show you these. These are really cute. Um, this one I got it just says being kind is free. It is a white graphic tee and it is very see-through as well like it's a thin material so be warned about that but you can always wear just like a little bralette under it and I think that it's really cute just because of the message same with this one here this one says self-love and I do think that we all need a little bit more self-love and with these ones I might actually chop them up and like make them cuter because I'm not big on just like plain tees like I'll do like crop tops so I'm not big on like just the hi this t-shirt kind of vibe um here are the pants that I tried on you may have seen me wear them already. I thought they were super cute. They say bored on them and I'm just obsessed and I just kind of love them. So I have worn those a ton and they've actually gotten really dirty already because I love them so much. Um, so there is that one there. Overall, from Boohoo, I don't know. There's some things that I get from other brands that I'm like, meh, they're okay. But a lot of these are very see-through. And if I were to have gotten a sponsored branch partnership from them and got this as my outcome, I probably would have been pretty bummed and would have had to message them and be like, hey, I can only film some of these things because I cannot endorse products that are mediocre. Um, you live and you learn. I tried a new brand and I got some cute pieces that I'm obsessed with. So that's a bonus. I I would not take their suggestion for sizing because I typically would have put myself as a size 4 for everything and they kept suggesting me through their thing as saying I was a size 6 so I got some in size 4 and some in size 6 but I hope you guys like this video give this video a big thumbs up if you did uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications and yeah I will see you guys in the next video oh and follow my Instagram at Elena Pearson on that note see you guys next time